this tutorial introduces uh, outputting an image file in the form of the PDF from processing. Um, and this particular example controls sort of the, the run of the program and then the output of the file. So let me walk you through the code. So first we've got to import the library that's generating the PDF. And if you go up to sketch import library and add library, you'll actually find a whole bunch of different libraries that add different sort of capabilities to the code that you're writing. Um, PDF is automatically indicated. So you're going to import the library into the code here. So that's the first line of code. Then we've got a few variables, a variable for the width of the ellipses we're going to create, a variable for the location, the x and y position of the ellipses, a variable that controls the numbering of the PDF file that's output, and then finally a boolean, which is, um, this I believe is the first time that I've talked about this data type, but ba basically this is a true false a true or false data type. It can either be true or it can be false. And so we're, and it's basically just going to act as a switch. So we're turning it to true to start. And then if you go down into the draw loop, you've got, well, actually up in the setup, we've called a rectangle that that's black and it fills it um, width and height with black. Um, Instead of using background, we could use background too. But um, I just wanted to be consistent because we do that again here as well in the draw loop to basically reset the canvas. So here we've got if make file equals true. So if the boolean is true, then we do this. And so we begin record. We give it a name, composition. And then we append the, the variable for count. So the variable right now is one. So we so it's composition one dot PDF. So that's the that's the file name. We set the stroke to no stroke. We set the fill to zero. We draw a rectangle on the back, and then we change the boolean from true to false. So now it will exit this bit of code, and it will only run the code below it. And so now it's we set the stroke to no stroke, set the fill to white with some transparency, set the randomness to width of 5, 50, etc., and then set the width and height also to random in terms of its position x and y, and it will run. And so we run it, and then when we're ready to save it, like now, we just click, and then it resets. And if we go, so we'll stop this from running. And if we go here, we can see I clicked. So now I have a PDF, and all of these are, are vector art. And every time I click, it would keep saving. So we save two here. Okay, so that's it.